Are you looking to improve your rhythm guitar playing? Well, stay tuned, guys, because I'm going to be giving you a tip that's going to help you take your rhythm guitar playing to that next level. Let's get stuck into it. Hi there guys, my name is Matt Dawson and I run Inspire Music School. If this is the first time we're meeting, please make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified of when we release new content. We aim to release new content every single week. What you're about to see is a video clip from a Facebook live stream that we did within our own exclusive online community of guitar players where we were tackling questions posted in by members of the group I'll put a link to the group in the description below. Make sure you go along, join the group, join the discussion and get your questions answered in real time today. As we said, today's topic was rhythm guitar playing and we were talking all things rhythm guitar and helping you guys get the most out of your practice time when it comes to getting better at rhythm guitar. So now that you know the background to the video, let's head over and get those real time tips. Today we're talking about rhythm guitar playing rhythm guitar, making sure that we are getting good at playing rhythm because not everything revolves around lead. So, you know, that's definitely going to be something that we are going to need to uh, make sure that we are getting to grips with. So rhythm guitar, uh, we did a video on rhythm guitar a couple of weeks ago or a week ago or so. And basically what we need to make sure that we're doing is we're observing a couple of different things. I want to talk about one thing um, and that's about the chord transitions, knowing your chord progressions, knowing your chord transitions. So. Um, a lot of people put rhythm down to the, the department of the drummer and it's not really all to do with the drummer. You know, the guitar player does have a, um, a part to play in it as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a tip on how we can actually strengthen our rhythm playing just by taking some time to memorize our chord progression. So I've got my guitar view. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, say, let's say for example, uh, I've got a metronome going here, but let's say our, our song goes. It's like a really, really, really basic kind of song. Okay, so we've got this G. Now what I'm doing is I'm making sure that my chord changes are on the right beat. So one, two, three, four. Each of those chords has got four beats on it. One, two, three, four. You can hear the metronome ticking away in the background. Now, let's say I'm not too up to speed with the strumming pattern, okay, which is the... Okay, I want to make sure I know where the chords are going to land before we get there. Now, what I can do is I can go like this. I go right. First things first. I'm going to just make sure I know what chords I need to play. So it's this. Okay, so I'm kind of clear on that. I know what I'm looking for there. Now I want to make sure that I can get my chords to land in the right part of the bit of the bars. Okay, so I, I can make sure that my chords are all in time. So my chord changes work out nice and smooth. So I'm going to go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. And until I get my chord changes nice and smooth and in the right part of the beat, I'm not going to move on to the next part. I'm not going to start uh, developing this until I um, at least get my chord changes in time. Now I'm working with a metronome. And again, we've spoken about uh, working with a metronome before. Really, really important that you're doing that as much as you can. For those of you that work with a metronome now, please let me know. Hit that like button. Put it in the comment section if you do or if you don't. Um, something I would always recommend. Um, the, the fact that most of the songs that you'll listen to are recorded to a metronome is a pretty good indicator that we should be working with a metronome as well. So again, I'll show you here. So each of these chords is going to have four beats on it. And I'm going to go two, three, four... Two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Okay, so four beats on each one. Now, what I want to make sure that I'm doing as well is if I can get my chords in time, I'm going to then make sure that I can get my strumming.
Again, I've taken the chords out of the equation now, and I'm going. Now let's say I was struggling with this, all I would do is slow the metronome down. Okay, once I get good at that, I can speed it up. Once I can do that to the point that it's kind of boring and I can just do it without really thinking about it anymore, now I can actually put them both together, two parts together. So I can put the... And this is kind of one of the big things that people get wrong when it comes to playing rhythm guitar. It could be a riff, could be anything, you know. If it's a riff and I've, and I've got like a lot of... I'm going to make sure that I'm going through things nice and slowly and I'm going to make sure that my fingers on this hand know where they've got to go. I'm going to make sure that this hand knows what it's doing. And then I'm going to combine them together. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Please make sure again that you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're not missing out on any of the future videos. If you'd like to see more from us, please click some of the videos that are coming up around the screens now. And until next time, guys, I've been Matt Dawson, and I'll see you later.